Alrighty. Hey traders, John Howell here. I wanted to do this quick little video for you guys because I really think that there's a really big misconception out there when it comes to your trading, okay? And I talked to some people on the phone as well too. Um, and by the way guys, if you're interested in getting my coaching um, and me, if you want to see exactly what I do live every day, like watch me trade live every day and see, this, see the actual trades I take, then go to johnsfreegift.com, get access to the free trading course, and I've got one spot left for the actual coaching program where you can actually watch me do my, do my, do my thing live every day, okay? Now, based on the back of that doing my live thing every day, you do realize this, okay? For you to do really well out of trading, it's not about being lucky. I got off the phone call just recently. Um, there was a, I, I got off one of them, I, I, someone that actually filled out the application for the coaching program. And I got off the phone call with them literally just about probably 10, 20 minutes ago. And I was explaining to him that he was like, well, I, I bought Tesla here and I, and I made some money here and I did this and I did that, I did this. And there was really no consistency at all with it all, right? There was really no consistency at all. And one of the big things for you about trading, and you must understand that successful trading is not about knowing exactly what's going to happen, right? Um, now, I have an idea of what's going to happen long term, but I don't know how that's going to unfold. I'm really confident we're going to see a massive mining boom. I just don't know how that's going to unfold, right? Meaning from now through to the end of this decade, we're going to go through a massive mining boom. That could be this year, could be next year, whatever, right? So that's one of the big things out there. We, we, it's one of the big things out there when, when we're talking about that sort of stuff, okay? Now, the good news for you guys is that, is that you don't have to be smart to do well out of trading, right? Um, now you have to be, uh, you have to have what most people don't have these days, and that's the discipline and the patience for around that. The discipline to take in setups only that you believe in, and the patience, right? So a lot of you guys out there are still trading the markets to this day, where you're trading the market in a way where you're trying to get lucky, right? So, you know, someone said, John, give us 30 stocks that, that, that you pick and we'll see, we'll see what, what, you, what, what it does. It's like, no, it's not about picking a stock and hoping it's gonna go up. How I trade the market is I trade based off a strategy, a system, approach, right? I don't trade off market updates. If I say the market's doing this right now, it looks bearish right now, well then, like right now, today, right? I did a, I did a market up today saying the market still looks bearish, but if the interest rates start to come down, that might be that that may that may cause an effect to the upside, right? It's just I'm just looking at the facts here. Let's just let's not argue. Let's just call it for what it is the facts there. But when I'm actually that, and I'm just giving you guys education around that there, right? Education. But when I'm trading the markets, I trade the markets in a way where I'm comfortable and I'm confident in, and it's not guessing. It's like does it meet my rules, yes or no? And how I simply do that is this. I have my perfect setup, right? I say, okay, this, this is what my perfect setup looks like, right? So when I have my perfect setup and this is what it looks like, that's what, that's what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for that as my trade. And I simply say, the trade I'm going to get into right now, today, the trade I'm about to get into right now, does it look like my perfect setup, right? Does it look like my perfect setup, yes or no? And so, if the answer is no, then it's not a trade for me, right? Because here's the thing. The system that I trade, over 90% of the time, is going to generate a profit, right? The system I trade, over 90% of the time, is going to generate a profit. Now, if you... The hard, no, the hard part around that, right, is waiting for those setups to come around. Um, and there's a lot of misconception around the whole trading thing, right? The whole trading thing is like, there's a lot of misconception when it comes to you know, uh, well, I want to trade every day so I can make a lot of money. You're probably over trading, you're probably losing a lot of money. I will, if I haven't had a trade for a week, then that means there's something wrong, All right? So there's a lot of, the way you're thinking about trading is actually ruining your chances. Um, and my, again, I've been trading the markets now for 19 years. <laughs> Majority of my trading career, I was doing this dumbass shit because I was thinking the wrong way around trading the markets. My thoughts were wrong. So when I'm trading the markets, and it's important for you as well too. It's not about being lucky. It's not about saying, well, I think this is a good idea, so let me get into it. No, no, that's the complete wrong way to go about it. Okay, complete wrong way about it. Whenever I'm into the markets, the reason why I do well from trading is because I just wait for my setup to appear. If I have to wait a whole week, if I have to wait a whole month, then I'm going to do that, right? Like we, we and that's, that's the hard part for you guys, right? Because you're thinking, oh, I need a lot of trades to make a lot of money. Make sense? 
But as I was saying before, is that the good news for you guys is that the way you're thinking about the markets, the way you're thinking about your trading, is like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this. Now, this is trading, right? Trading. Trading is about like actively getting in and getting out and having stop losses and profit targets and and all that sort of stuff, right? Long-term investing is completely different. Do not mix them up, okay? So do not mix them up. We have short-term trading, and short-term means like for a few days to up to a few weeks, okay? And then that, that's, what, that's what I call trading for income. And then you have your long-term investing stuff. Do not mix them up together, right? So when you're trading the markets, it's not about you being lucky. It's not about, well, I guess Tesla's gonna be a good buy right now. Should I buy Tesla right now? Doesn't meet the rules. Well, what rules? <laughs> it's like, it's like, okay, cool. Let's actually, let's actually start there, right? Let's take. That's your foundation. Your foundation is that. And I'm telling you right now, guys. It's like, you know, success leaves clues, right? Success leaves clues. If you look at all the really successful traders, now I'm not talking about just do six figures. We're talking about multiple, multiple seven figures a year. What do they all have in common? They all have a plan that they follow, right? Just in, and if you want to do well at a trading, maybe you should have a plan to follow that has a high win-loss ratio, not a 100% win-loss ratio. That's the other thing, right? It's like, oh, I'm looking to this, tra I took this trade and it lost money, therefore the system doesn't work. Does it really? No. How much testing did you do with the system? Well, none, I just took the trade, right? So that is the big thing for you guys. But again, this is the, the really good thing for you guys is that, and this is actually a good thing for you guys. I think I just said that three times. What I mean by that is that, for me personally, guys, like I'm, I'm a dumb shit, right? I really am. I'm just like, I'm not smart at all. But one thing I've just learned is like, what system am I really comfortable taking? And as long as I can really be patient around that process and, uh, and around waiting for those setups, most of the time they make money. And as if you can just look at the entire year from that, I might go through um, like, like last month, last month there was two trades there combined of almost 500% return on my risk in, in the markets. There was, but there was only two trades last month. You know, and then I've had a small loss recently, and but then as, then there's been quiet for the last few weeks for me, right? No trades. But guess what? Over the next two or three weeks, I'm going to get some really good trades again, and they're going to have some really good profits, right? That's the that's the ebbs and flows of trading, right? So we have really good profits, some small losses, really good profits, small losses, you know, and, and so on and so forth. So if you look at your whole year, really, it's just like, okay, I'm going to wait for my trading setup that I believe in. And if you don't have that, then again, I'm happy to help you out with that. Again, if you go to johnfreegift.com, as soon as you put your email address in, I'm, I'm going to give you a free trading course to teach you a lot of stuff about, you know, about the markets and trading systems and stuff like that. But that's the ebbs and flows, right? And if you actually, there's a, there's a really, there's a real big difference is people trying to make, say you're trying to make $4,000 a month, right? $1,000 a week, $50,000 a year. That's actually quite difficult to, do, diff, difficult to do, right? It's actually much easier to make $50,000 a year than it is for $1,000 a month. But you're saying, John, but that's the same thing. It is the same thing, but it's not the same thing. Why? Because one month, one month, you might have a couple of really good trades and you end up making $15,000 that month. But the next month, there might be no trades. So therefore you didn't trade, but you didn't lose any money. The next month, there might be a trade and you made $5,000. So now you got 20 grand for the year, right? And now you're three or four months into the year. Next month, not much. Next month, oh, next month, oh, you had a really good month. You're actually up $30,000 this week. 30, you actually had a really good month. You got into some trades and you held them for three, four weeks and you made some really good profits there. And, oh my goodness, I'm up $30,000 this month. And then something after the $30,000 month, you go through two months of no trades because there wasn't, the, market didn't deliver, deliver, the market didn't deliver you any trades. See what I'm saying there? So the, the ebbs, the, the art of you trying to make short-term profits, I'm trying to make $1,000 a week, I'm trying to make $4,000 a month, but you're doing that, you're actually sold down your process. But if we can identify trades, and again, with my coaching program and stuff like that, um, I can help you do that. But if we can learn to identify trades that have potential to make really good profits, not just like, you know, 100% or, you know, 20, 30% return, but we're talking about hundreds of percent return on your trading position, on your return on risk or your return on your investment, right then now we're talking right now you can start to see leaps and bounds in your in, in your in your entire account um you know from there from, from that process make sense so these are the big things that's really stopping you from moving forward in the markets but if we can slow down so like then um if we look at the whole year as one year and we slow down and we can be patient in those times when there's no trades like for me personally last month a couple of good trades last three four last two three weeks 
no trades, right? It's been very, very quiet for me. But guess what? There's, the next couple of weeks, there's going to be some really good trading opportunities. I'm going to take it and I'm going to make money. And in between when there's not many trades, guess what? Most people then want to trade because they're not making any money and then they end up losing money. So anyway, guys, this is John Howell here for me. I'm about to head into the gym to do my third workout or just third cardio session anyway. Um, go to John's, J-O-H-N-S, freegift.com. Go over there, get the free access, to, get access to the free trading course. You also get the very first video you get access to is a video talking about uh, my trading strategy and what I actually look for actually in a trade. And then also you can apply for that last spot for the coaching program. Have a good day, guys.